Hello traders, Kelly254 here and today I'm going to create this video I'm going to show, how, to show you how to add matting, split martingale to your bot irrespective of the kind of bot that you are using you can always add split martingale uh, it was a bot that was requested right over here and uh, before we get started if you like any of my bots that I've ever created and you are not able to create it you can always get it via the link on the the link on the uh, description and also on the pinned comment on the comment section you can also filter these uh, bots uh, via these tags right over here to maybe you want my personal bots differs bots whichever bots that you want you can always filter it right over so you can also subscribe if you want uh, to get notifications once i upload any product on the on the store let's get started on the first thing is to reset this bot and then delete the cell uh, condition like that also switch this on to we will try it using uh, using over under using a uh, even odd i want even odd and uh, let's head over to creating the variables that we will be using to create our to create our bot so the first variable is a uh, split martingale you can call it split size we just call it split size like that needs tech also need stack need a martingale stack let me call it martingale stack like that we also need a percentage i'll call it just percentage I have no uh, good name to call this variable i'll just call it percentage i also need loss count i also need uh, total loss like that and we have to set these um, variables we start with the stake now stake will be set to something like 10 we go scroll down pick math pick number we set it to 10 then we head over to attaching our stack to our to our martingale stack like that then we need also to set to set the percentage this percentage you'll need to do a maths right over here go to maths then attach it right over here this percentage will do this one it's not like a percentage but it's just it's just that i did not get the good name to call this uh, variable and we'll uh, is what we will use this block to do this block will use uh will take 100 divided by divided by the payout that is offered by your trade type for our case is uh, even odd let me just show you let me just show you what we're supposed to do we need to go to traders hub what we're supposed to do in order to get the, the payout percentage of that trade step that you are in so after going to derive trader you need to switch over to switch over to the market that you are in for our instance we are on even odd so scroll down to the even odd section and check this percentage you can see for our instance having a stake of 10 is 95.35 this will change dynamically depending on the stake that you have set you see using one dollar as the stake the payout percentage changes you can realize that the, the higher the stake the higher the payout so it's always good also to use a good stake to prevent such kind of issues so let me use 10 because it's the stake that is set on the board so our percentage is 95.3 95.3 head over here and then change this on to 95.3 because we are using a stake of a stake of three like that you also need to set the matching split size that is a split size we'll, uh, we'll start with a split size of three that is the martingale split then we can call it martingale split size let me rename it let 
like that. Then we head over to adding the blocks that we will need in order to carry out the, the split function, the split uh, logic. So we go to logic, we pick this um, logic, then we are supposed to go to analysis, then contract, then pick if result is a loss. What we do is, is that the result is a loss, then first thing is to change. Go to maths, we pick change, scroll all down to change this one, change uh, total loss by, you need to change total loss by your martingale stake. So go to variables, then pick your martingale stake, like that. Then we also need another, another logic, this one. Then we need uh, if our total loss is greater than zero, if our total loss is greater than zero, meaning that if we are, uh, if we have a pending loss, like we are on a loss, if greater than zero, then what do we do? Then we need to change loss count by, change loss count by one, like that, and if, need this block if loss count is equals to one if loss count is equals to one what do we do we need to delete this block rather set so we need now to set a martingale stack to this is where now the split martingale comes in we need maths then we need this block then we duplicate this one touch it right over there Set martingale stack to, we need this one to be divided by split martingale. We also need this one to be multiplication. So we'll get the total loss multiplied by the this uh, percentage right over here, a uh, percentage variable, then divided by the split size. So first thing is to take the total loss multiplied by the total loss multiplied by the uh, percentage go to variables then pick percentage then divided by need to go to variables and then divided by a split martingale split size like that and then attach this one at this end we need to attach this one right over here like that and then if now the loss is not uh, on negative side, what do we do? And what if now the trade is winning? What do we do? We got those two conditions. If the trade is winning, we need um, logic again. We also need to change. Go to maths. Then change this one. We need to change our total loss by by the profit. Go to contract. Then pick out the profit. We go to math again. Scroll down and pick this block. Then attach, change total loss by uh, minus the or deduct the profit from the total from the total loss. And if it continues to deduct, you can uh, go to a negative uh, total loss, and you do not need it to go to that point. So if the total loss is uh, is is uh, less than less than one, go to maths. or less than zero, let me just use zero, then set total loss to zero. Total loss, set it to zero, like that. We also need um, to set, we also need to set our loss count to, 
we also need to set our loss count to zero. Loss count to zero anytime the bot passes through this is uh, the loss side, the losing side. So on the other end now, what do we need to do on this part? If now the total loss is uh, less than zero, we need to set a martingale stake, a martingale stake to stake, and we also need also need to reset our loss count to zero like that. There is also another case, so we need another logic. Remember, it is uh, splitting the stake by three. Assuming, for uh, instance, if uh, if we are using a stake of something like zero point zero point uh, seven, and then the stake is split by three, it it will go to a stake that is below below zero point three five. Actually, if you are using a stake of one dollar, and you lose, and you are using a split martingale of three. The stake will be 0, point, 0 point something like 0.34, which is 0 0.35, which is less than 0 0.35. That is the minimum stake allowed, allowed by the RIV. Hence, the bot will give you an error. So, we are supposed to set if if the martingale, this one, if the martingale stake, go to variable, if the martingale stake, is less than 0 0.35 we need math 0 0.35 then the board should set martingale stake should set martingale stake to 0 0.35 like that to avoid the any error that may appear and now the the split uh the split um, the split uh, martingale uh, system is already on we need to reattach this one again like that and then that's it let's run the bot and see if our split function works as expected our stake is ten dollar let me run the bot and see what happens start with ten dollars until we hit a loss so that we confirm our first loss so the next stack will be ten dollars divided by three you can clearly see then it adds on uh, on winning supposed to maintain the same stake until you until you recover then once you lose again it's supposed to add the the stake maintain the same stake until you recover and once you recover supposed to reset the stake back again let's wait and see suppose now to reset the stake back to the initial stake can see the stake was reset back to the initial stake supposed to maintain that stake until until you recover your loss You can see the the bot will is not adding the stake um in a weird way but a systematic way. You can see that we are, we are uh, encountering so many losses. We have not gotten a chance for the bot to run three consecutive trades. You can see after it recovered with the three runs, it is reset the stake back to the initial stake. That's how the split martingale works without necessarily 
um, exaggerating your stake or multiplying, multiplying your stake um, weirdly. Like assuming that we are using a case whereby the stake is being multiplied by two. For the instance that we have encountered several consecutive losses, the we could now be um, around a very, 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 very big, big loss that we cannot, uh, maybe the account that we are using could not handle. Yeah, that's how the split martingale works. After three runs, it's supposed to recover. Three continuous runs, because we are using a split martingale of two. After three consecutive trades, your bot should recover from the loss. That is three consecutive winning trades. So if any of the three trades does not um any of the three trades uh is a loss then now it is it has to add the the total loss that you are on now then divide it by three then use it as the, as the next as the next stake you can see the board recovered supposed not to go to back to ten dollar that is your initial stake once you lose again it starts the split martingale once you recover, goes up, goes back again to initial stake. That's how you you do it. You can use the split martingale even for divas, for over under, depending on the on the market that you are in. As long as you, you have to change this one to the to the to the payout that is offered by that market. For our instance, for our instance, let me just use a case whereby let's see, it's supposed to go back to ten. Ten dollar, you can see that that is uh, how the split martingale works without necessarily multiplying your stake to uncontrollable amount. The split martingale focuses on a gradual recovery, like it's using your uh, that uh, that of your loss to recover your whole loss because you are using uh, the split martingale of three. Then, if you take it to a split martingale of four, then means that should take like a quarter of your loss to recover the the total loss that you have on your account um assuming now we we are we have to do it on something like defas let me show you how to do it then first thing is to change it to matches and defas then your prediction is right over here change this one to defas then head over to your head over to your derive trade and then check what uh, payout is defas having that is 9.9.6 then change the one this one to 9.6 like that and then click on run the bot should now starts to run and once you lose you see we lost for our case it's supposed to multiply the this uh, by the split martingale and then try out to recover you see uh, using a normal stake you could have used um you could have multiplied the stake by something like 11 for you to recover but using the split martingale you gradually multiply the stake you see you only need, needed uh, three consecutive runs to recover the loss and then reset the stake back to the initial stake that's how the split martingale works make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel for more informative content like this and also comment the next logic that you wanna See, and I will do a video on it. Bye. Boom, boom, peace. I will upload this bot on the store. And uh, if you're not able to create it, you can always get it on the store. Remember, the the, the split martingale can be used with any of your logic. The stake system is always different from any the your system that the bot is using to trade for a, for a case. Like your bot is trading in a rise and fall. And you have the logic for rise and fall. Maybe you're using indicators. The stack system is is uh, different for, from the indicators that you are using. The bot will now expect you to um, give it stack system. Like assuming you want to use the split martingale, the way that I've set it up here is the way that you will set it up on your on whichever logic your bot is using is the same same way. Yeah, that's it.